Is it rolling there, Chase? You bet. Excellent, excellent. Today's lesson is going to be about arc signs. So the new vocabulary today will be arc sign, arc cosine, arc tangent. This says find the inverse sine of square root of 2 over 2. Please understand that this is the backwards sign. Or another way to read this, find the angle whose sine is square root of 2 over 2. You are expecting your answer to be an angle. If you're doing forward regular signs, you're taking signs of angles. We already know the sign, we know what angle gave it. So we're doing unsigns, I call them sometimes. Uh, this little symbol right here, sine with a little minus one, means the same as arc sine. There's not enough room on your calculator for a button that would say arc sine. So they do that. But it's like the number whose sign is square root of 2 over 2. Well, let's pan over here to the unit circle. <coughs> Remember on the unit circle, signs are heights. So we're trying to find the angle whose height is square root of 2 over 2. Well, on the circle, the height of square root of 2 over 2, that happens like right here, doesn't it? I'm pointing to a spot that has a height of square root of 2 over 2. It looks like that's 45 degrees or pi fourths. We're going to be working in rad, so the answer to this should be pi fourths. However, keep in the back of your head, there's another angle that has the same sign. Grab your calculator now, just to make sure on this. Can you, if it's in rad, can you take the sign of Pi fours. In other words, put a pi fours in the parentheses. Do you get 0.707? All right. Leave that in your display. And now do a inverse sign. That's the shift sign of answer or that same 0.707. If you do that, do you get pi fourths, which would be, what do you get? 0.785 is pi fourths. Prove it to yourself and do pi divided by 4. So, can we get your calculator to just like, give you the answer of pi fourths? I wouldn't tell you if there was. <laughs> All right, let's, let's keep going here. <laughs> so this answer is pi fourth. Notice how that looks on the unit circle. Because the height of the terminator at pi fourth is that, that means the inverse sine of pi fourth. I mean, the inverse sine of square root of 2 over 2 is pi fourths. It's like a backwards sign. Let's try another one. This time, instead of sine of the minus 1, we use the word arc sine. Saying that means the same thing. You'll use the same button. And you could read this as find the angle whose sine is negative square root of 3 over 2. Shoot. Shouldn't need a calculator, Nick. Don't even be messing with the stupid track. I mean, it's it's a spot, a well-known spot. Yeah. Where is the height? Negative square root of three over two. Right there. Right there. For the record, he said right there. Yeah, good. It's at both two forty and three hundred, or four pi thirds and 5 pi thirds. Your calculator is always going to give you the one that's closest to zero. So the calculator is just going to say negative pi thirds. Try it once. 
do the inverse sine of negative square root of 3 over 2 in the parentheses, do you get like a negative 1.0 something? Yeah, that's negative pi thirds. That's this. <coughs> that's, that goes there, doesn't it? It goes to that spot. So the answer book's going to, even though there's hundreds of answers, because you can go around as many times as you want. We learned that in a couple lessons ago. There's hundreds of places that end at that height. The answer book will probably give the one closest to zero. first glance, this seems rather innocent, but think about it. The angle whose sine is negative 2 pi. Try it on your calculator once. I wonder why. I wonder why you can't find it. Well, first of all, negative 2 pi is kind of one of our angles. It's this one, right? And where is the, the angle whose sign is? Aren't signs heights? Where on here do you end up at a height of negative 6.28? It, it bottoms out at negative 1, doesn't it? That's the lowest height it goes. This is a trick question, and uh, an expert would see it right off. An expert who knows signs only go from negative one to one would say, eh, August, and your calculator showed it too. It only goes from negative one to one. Does not exist, no answer. How about the inverse sine of zero? The angle whose sine is zero. Zero. A. We got people out there who are choosing zero. Did you say zero A? Oh yeah, I thought he's just going Canadian on you. <laughs> he's choosing choice A. <coughs> Good job by the J. Mm. Changing the Twitter name now. <laughs> you try this one. Our cosine, negative square root 3 over 2. <laughs> Someone said 2.61. Jake wants his name by that. All right. All right. That'd be the angle whose cosine is negative square root of 3 over 2. Pan over to the unit circle. On here, <coughs> cosines, negative cosines are on the left. And the farthest left you can go is negative 1, but negative square root of 3 over 2 is at these two spots, 5 pi 6 and 7 pi 6. And the calculator will pick the one closest to 0, but they're both the same far from 0, so it'll probably pick the positive one. So what we have to do is check, is 5 pi 6 same as 2.61? Let's do a quick calculation. Take 5 times pi and divide it by 6. Was Jacob right? Yeah. Damn. Damn for Jacob. All right. Jacob. Pan back here, Chase. Pan. Whoa. Moore's into the next lesson already.
You only got a couple more minutes, Mr. Bork. Two minutes? I can do this lesson in two minutes. Because it's review. We did this in geometry. In geometry, we learned to calculate missing sides and angles of triangles using the sine law. This is the sine law. You have it in your book, too, so you don't have to quick copy it now. It's in your book. And uh, here's how it works. Say if you have a triangle, and say if you have a marker that writes. I got you four. I got it. I got oh, it. this one's a really good one. As good as this? Oh, it's a good one. This does not even have to be a right triangle. Use the sine law, if you'll recall. The sine law worked on any triangle. And the way it worked was the sine of an angle over the side opposite has to equal the sine of another angle over the side opposite. So if you're as handy with your calculator as Nick is, you would just take 30 times the sine of 50 and divide it by the sine of 70 and get an answer of, I don't know, 20-ish? No, it's negative 10. You're pretty sure it's negative 10? <laughs> I won't say who said that because like, <laughs> Nick Remember, Bolton. these are degrees, it was Nick Bolton. and your calculator was in rats. That, that might matter. It was definitely Nick Bolton. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if we get an answer we can agree on. Anybody? No one dares to give an answer yet. Except Nick Bolton. Mm, he got it wrong. 24.4, somebody says. Anybody matching that? Yeah. All right. I think that concludes our double header <laughs> lesson for today. Pan over to the assignment. For tomorrow, we're going to do 1 to 14, comma, 29 to 40. I feel that if we work hard in small groups, we will achieve that on site today. And then if time, you can begin on this 4-7142 for Tuesday. Go, and that's a wrap, Chase.